Hello there, I'm another Magento Dev. Welcome to another video. Welcome to another video regarding the um, generally the Magento upgrade process. Um, <clears throat> I released a video yesterday on the day of the upgrade, just with a, a bit, it was a bit of an explainer, it was a bit of a walk through the upgrade process, or at least my upgrade process, on an older site. Um, and I had an interesting comment in the night with regards to um, running a command in order to get the required comment. I think it, what it does is it updates your composer to be able to use uh, required comments. Um, and I just wanted to point something out, like I'd missed it. I completely missed it. Look, I have used it in another version of, um, in another video, sorry, of, of I think upgrading ages back to 2.4.3. But you can see it in that. So this is the old page you land on, and it's uh, it's much more prominent there. It's like a step look. It's like an actual step where it's talking through it, um, and it explains it as the plugin partially automates um, the manual upgrade by, to uh, the manual upgrade by identifying and helping you resolve dependency conflicts instead of requiring you to identify and fix them manually. To so install the plugin, and then you run you run that there. Um, I'll just save that for later. On this, on these docs, it's in this warning, and me with my um, attention deficit issues, um, I've completely just ignored the warning. I wonder if that's like over a decade of you know <laughs> web development, and just generally now I'm desensitized to uh, to red warnings, <laughs> um, which don't, which ain't great, but. You can, uh, yeah, you can, it's saying, look, you, you need to install it. Don't give you the actual command anymore, um, but it, it is there in the docs. I was thinking, no, it's not there in the docs. They've missed it out. Um, I mean, it's not as prominent as it was, I don't think. Or it, it, the reason I didn't read this is because I'm looking at the steps. I don't know about you, but you look at the steps. You look at what you need to actually to do. You train to do it. You've used Stack Overflow. You've used docs for years. They need to put it in a little black step look and to be able to copy it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and revert the upgrade that I did yesterday. I'm also going to upgrade a um, 2.4.4 with no detritus in it just to see how well that goes through. I'm going to do them at the same time um, and we're just going to have another look at the upgrade. I don't think it can hurt. Um, I've read some of, the, um, some of the release notes as well and apparently Apple Pay is there now for for everybody and I want to see how I can switch that on. Um, another little another little tip for us devs, put in a zero in the admin lifetime cookie now, it never logs you out, logged in forever until the sun uh, the sun engulfs the F. So oh, Andromeda crashes into um, the Milky Way, whichever one comes first. The so so that's a good little tip. There's there's a lot of other sort of um, sort of security updates. You can actually use um, tag manager now in the admin so I want to check that out so stay to the end of the video we're going to have a look at those things on an upgraded version uh, whichever one works I think it's going to be my 2.4.3 so now let's just really quickly touch on how I would revert a, revert a botched say say yesterday's didn't go I mean it didn't go great but say I, I checked the front end of the store and it was completely full bar well how do we sort of get out of that then so I've got a couple of ways of sort of trying to trying to get it back now one of the first things I've done and I did it just before I started recording was I just wanted to test whether um, whether whether it would go through so what I've done is I've um, whether setup upgrade would go through is I've reverted all of my changes I've basically reverted everything that I did yesterday um, and I've also now cleared my vendor folder and that's important because now my reverted version look of my composer file is going to install of my composer JSON is going to install 243 again so now I should be able to run composer install and it should give me back my 2.4.3 version which then should be compatible still with all of the modules and what have you that are um, that are essentially broken. Oh, and I also read into it, Monologue as a package is upgraded, and I think that was what the issue was. Monologue is upgraded um, yesterday. So any of my old, um, hang on a minute, the cat's scratching at the door. There you go. Sorry about that. 
Um, Monologue is upgraded, so I think the older implementations of Monologue in those older versions of those modules were um, were not. We're, we're, it wasn't having it basically, and that's all it was. So it's a, that's a fairly sim straightforward thing to fix. So I'm going to call that a success. Right, and uh, let's just have a quick check uh, before I run setup upgrade. It should detect that. Oh, it, might, it might crap out. Yeah, two, four, three. So I've essentially reverted it back, so I can start again uh, effectively. And if I run the big four again. Setup upgrade should rerun now without any issues. No, oh, other than that issue. I didn't have Elasticsearch switched on. That's always going to be a problem. Yeah, we're going to have a look at some of the release notes while I'm running through this. Tell you what, in the meantime, let's jump over to my other um, install, my, my easy one, my playground. Um, right, and we'll just, we'll just, again, we'll, 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 we'll branch off, we'll do it properly. Um, So you can call your branch anything, obviously. Upgrade 245. Right, so I'm going to run what was suggested in the comments. I'm going to do the update of this plugin um, first. And I'm... What? Oh, right. Um, it's not working, is it, this? Do we need to do it? Is it? Did we ever need to do it? Oh, there we go. Right, just don't put the version in. So the old doc said to use a version. I don't think you'd need to put a version. Let's see what it's done. Um, let's have a quick look. So how was that affected the... Um, I mean, essentially, it's not changed much, has it? I think I think one of the reasons... Because I, I, didn't, I didn't actually check it. I might have to have a look back at the video because I do hang over this screen. Hang on, hang on. I'll tell you what I can do. Don't know. I don't have to look at the video. I've got the install here. Have I already got it from the last time I did the install? Because as I say, I've, I remember doing it before. Yeah. Right. Well, it's at one. So yeah, it probably did need upgrading yesterday. Um, let's just get this one running again. So we'll just get the big four going on that one. Um, and yeah. So essentially, in my new version, because this was two point four point four. It looks like it already had 2.0. So as it turns out, I didn't even need to run it. What what should we say about that? Run it, maybe. Run it before you start, just to be safe. But now I should be able to use the commerce require uh, command as the docs intend it. Um, or require commerce, in fact, it is, isn't it? Uh, let's have a look. So we'll just have a look at... I'm not sure, require commerce. There we go. Right, I'll just borrow this one. Community edition, as always. Right, and we'll just change this to a 4.5. Right, require commerce should. Yeah, lovely, that's wet. So, right, so that answers my question from yesterday. It seems that Composer Require still works, require commerce. It, it works if you've got the uh, root plugin up to 2.0 and uh, yeah everything's okay on that then isn't it um, let's have a look but I should have updated my community edition 244 for 245 so now I can run composer update right so there is a caveat so you are supposed to and again I don't think it says in the docs right it doesn't say in the docs here because this is something that was pointed out in the comments it says you need to run Composer Update after you've run that. Obviously, I'm not doing it here because I already had it, but now I'm going to run Composer Update. So you might need to do that. You might want to run Composer Update after you've updated the root plugin. And then obviously, then you do your no update, 
command there with require commerce and then you run composer update again to actually run the upgrade so I hope my, uh, I hope my Linux machine deals with this right yeah I'm getting some um, integrity constraint violations here on my database and I think that is because right so when I was re when I've reverted obviously it looks to me like the upgrade has changed some stuff in my database some uh, probably the default correlate like it says there and, and other things so right what would you do well you're gonna have to get an older copy of your database aren't you so lesson learned I mean I know this was like a, a copy of a Magento that I'm not using anymore I really should have backed up the database before I started if I could have put that back it's only a quick job in it so just just note that but it isn't going to affect um, affect me running this again so I am gonna I'm gonna run the same command um, to see so I'm gonna do the update of the composer plugin so does that put it put it up to number two for to two for me so this is in my older install yep it's put it up to two um, I'm just gonna run composer update As I say, this website, the database is buggered. It ain't gonna come back, but I had to worry about that. Um, okay, this first composer update is just gonna get everything in line, I think. So it was probably a good idea to do that. Um, and now I should be able to use require commerce, which I couldn't do yesterday on this one. What's that saying? The general office also was trying to update required dev the other direct course if it installs okay but the field has been removed and this installation will not be changed you see the differences i'm getting by comparison to is this one going through oh no i'm getting it on i'm getting on this one now this one's just gone straight through obviously um right then let's just have a i know i'm flicking back and forward here but i i you know i'm spinning two plates I tell you what, let's deal with this issue first on this one. Right, and so what we got going on here? Yeah. yeah right, but it's like which which one? Right, so open in measures, but the, yeah. So there was something in in two four three has been removed uh, uh, and will not be changed. Rerunning. I'm gonna force root updates. Um, because it wants to update that plugin there or that package code sniffer um, to 7.2 now I can't I'm gonna I'm gonna guess that that ain't gonna cause a massive amount of issue uh, remember this is different to yesterday so maybe that's the purpose of the root update uh, the package um, sorry the, the composer root update plugin because it's gonna bring up these things maybe that's what it's doing um, which is interesting it's very good um, okay what did I do yeah okay right so that's that's gone through now using require commerce so yeah it definitely did need to run so thanks for that comment I think it was someone called Jerome so thanks Jerome um, for reminding me of that uh, and now I'm going to run composer update on, on this install and we're just going to let that run and while that's running I'm going to jump well, I'll just make sure it starts running actually let's uh, let's not jump the gun yeah that's 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 on its way right I'm gonna run so so this one looks to me as if it's all gone gone through quite quite well Um I'm gonna run the big four on this one now so I'm just gonna check again what's been updated and and it's similar to, to yesterday's to be honest Um everything that you expect Stuff in set up, stuff in the yeah. So tiny mice, tiny mice, tiny MC has been updated as well, um, because there was security vulnerabilities in that. There's been a lot of security fixes. 
they said that there's now the ability to have capture on um, on the create account page. I think I thought that's always been there, but apparently it's new. They're saying it's new. Um, right, I'm just gonna run a big four here. Hopefully, Elastic Search won't crap out because I'm running two. I'm running two here. That's so good, see what it does. What else has it done in here? Let's see if we can spot any talking points. Hopefully, I won't get any monologue errors in this one, surely. But it's doing its schema creation updates with, with the upgrade, it does take longer because there's obviously a lot of root plugins um root packages are making updates right that seems to have gone through that looks okay that's happening over on the other side yep that's gone through as well um i think i'm probably going to get the same issues as i always as i had um before but that's not and we know what those are we know that it's all the plugins so i'm going to try and run the big four on that one and we'll come back to that because that that's going to get an error this one slowly but surely it's doing its thing and um, let's just have a quick buzz over to the release notes while we're at it um, Yeah, so, um, yeah, that one wish list look has been added to that. It's quite good. So, that one's an interesting one. That's all them files there, look. That, that's all them changes there to the tiny MCE. Um, yeah, my, my new one's going through all okay. Uh, there was some files in here which were related to lib and tiny MCE. The, the, these ones look. So, jQuery's updated as well, by the way, uh, to 1.13 or something, it said. Anyway, that's jQuery updating. So you can see the evidence of, of what they're saying here if you have a look. Yeah, 1.131. Um, yeah, so there's monologue is updated. So that was obviously what was causing my issues yesterday. Um, would you look at that? It's gone through this time, look. M24. I've got all them plugins in there. And it's... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> that's the one that's my other one that's my other one uh, yeah so I'm getting the same issues with the same plugin look the same it's gonna be the same thing so that that's I'm not worried about that though because we know what those are and um, it's that monologue updating so that's something to look out for monologues updating if you want to change your plugins you can do if you want to get them upgraded by the vendors you should do and um, so we can leave that one there but the um, yeah, the, the update in the, the Composer root update plugin obviously just made me aware of certain uh, dependencies that would that had changed between 243 and 245, which is useful. So I suggest that, you know, in terms of what I just told you yesterday, I think you should do that now as well. Um, and that, that one's gone through. Okay, so obviously there seems to be quite a few um, updates to the sort of... Um, UI and the functionality of Magento, which I won't go into in this video, but have a look at the release. Have a look at the release documentation and see what takes your fancy on there. Um, the main things to note with regards to, a, from a technical perspective, is Tiny MCE. That's really good that that's updated. jQuery obviously is is a given, um, and a, and, a, and a few other bits and bobs there. Um, and you can see the packages that have that have updated there, which they may cause you problems with your extensions that are sat in your code folder um, but as I say if you've used Composer for your extensions you're probably not going to get them issues because it'll all update all together um, yep so a quick video a quick update video if you like on the Magento upgrade um, to, to sort of partner with yesterday's um, just showing different different ways of getting through this this update I hope that's been useful if it has um, just bang a like on the channel Put, put it, you know, hit me up in the comments as well if you've got anything to say regarding it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.